Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video lecture, we will be discussing some tips and tricks of how to draw a low power plan diagram. So guys, how do we define the low power plan diagram? It's the drawing of an organ in which we just draw the outlines of the tissues or boundaries of the tissues. We don't draw cells. And while we are drawing the specimen, we are observing the specimen under the microscope the light microscope and the specimen should be at low power that is into 10 of objective lens so whenever you are drawing a low power plan diagram you are observing a specimen under the microscope and that specimen should be at the low power that's why the name low power plan diagram and that is the objective lens of into 10 so for example if you are observing a dicot stem under the light microscope at low power so you see uh, a picture like this and if you are asked to draw a plan diagram so how will you draw the plan diagram you just need to draw the outlines of the tissues that you see so how can you figure out that which tissue is which or how can you figure out distinct tissues just look for the distinct types of cells so if we look at this diagram, this is uh, a little bit blurred, but you can see that this tissue is somewhat different from the others because the cells in this tissue are different from the cells in the other tissue. So this is one distinct tissue and we will not draw cells. We will just draw what the outlines. And as you can see that this is the plan diagram and the outline of uh, the epidermis or the tissue I just highlighted is drawn right so we just have to draw the outlines of the tissues right and we can see that these are the vascular bundles which contain tissues like uh, we can see that this is the tissue uh, this tissue is uh, basically sclerenchyma right and over here there is a small layer of cells and this uh, cellular layer is the cambium vascular cambium and then this entire tissue is the xylem so over here we can see this outline drawing the top layer is the fibers or sclerin chyma and then this is the phloem and then we have the vascular cambium and then we have the xylem so over here this is the xylem tissue and this is the vascular cambium and this is the phloem tissue and this is the fiber or sclerin chyma tissue so you have to just draw the outlines of the different or distinct tissues that you see this tissue as you all know is the cortex of the stem right again you don't draw cells you just draw the outline so from this point where the epidermis ends till the point over here there is cortex right so you just mention the cortex and you don't draw cells okay so what are the points that you need to know while drawing a plan diagram so only draw the boundaries of the tissues or the outlines of the tissues do not draw cells this is very very important and the objective lens should be into 10 or low power the next most important point is that draw exactly what you see not a textbook diagram for example right now i'm drawing a dicot stem right so you saw a plan diagram of the dicot stem over here so you don't need to draw the same plan diagram if a dicot stem comes in your exam you have to view the slide because the slide that you get in the exam might be different from this slide that you see over here so draw what you see not a textbook diagram i know you have drawn uh, different plan diagrams in your as level throughout the year but draw exactly what you see not a textbook diagram the third most important point is that the outlines should be clear and continuous what is meant by this thing is that some students what they do that they draw very faint outlines for example like this uh, still this is visible some students even draw very faint outlines they over sharp their pencils and they uh, draw very faint outlines which are not visible to the examiner so the outline should not be faint the outline should be clear 
Moreover, the outline should not be dark. So it should not be like this with multiple strokes. Multiple strokes should not be there like this. It should not be dark and it should not be faint. It should be continuous. There should not be any break like this. So lines should not be broken. Avoid faint outlines, broken outlines, multiple strokes. Lines should be continuous and clear. Only label if you're asked by the examiner. So sometimes examiner asks you to draw a plan diagram and examiner just writes draw a plan diagram. Examiner does not write that draw a labeled plan diagram. So you need to carefully follow the instructions. If examiner is asking you to label, then you have to label. Otherwise, you don't have to. Point number five, while labeling, draw horizontal label lines using a scale. Do not make arrows. So guys, whenever you label, so you have to uh, draw label lines using a scale. So for example, if I have to label the xylem, what I will do, I will just draw a line using a scale. And you should not draw arrows like this, right? This is not acceptable. You just have to draw simple lines. And uh, mostly try to uh, draw horizontal lines, but if that is not possible, you can draw lines in at any angle but make sure that the label line is not cutting the entire diagram for example you should not uh, make a label li line like this because it will spend the entire diagram the label lines should be very short they should not spend the entire diagram right and the label lines should not intersect each other for example if you want to label the fibers so you have labeled it like this and flown like this so it should not be like this that if you want to label the flow you are labeling it like this and that the label lines are intersecting or cutting each other so this should not be the case okay drawing and label lines should be made using a pencil labels should be written with a pen so guys be careful you have to draw using a pencil you have to make label lines using a pencil whereas when you are putting the labels the labels should be put with a pen label lines should be short and not spend the entire drawing as i mentioned earlier also label lines should not intersect with each other point number eight drawing should be large it should cover most of the space or more than 70 percent of the space leave space on either side for the labels so guys whenever you are drawing you need to know that your drawing should be large it should cover most of the space for example, you can see uh, that this uh, plan diagram is covering most of the space. It is covering more than 75% of the space, right? So what you need to do is you need to cover most of the space. And while you draw, keep some space on the right, some space on the left, right? So keep some space on the left, some uh, space on the right, some space at the top, some space at the bottom so that you can label, right? So these are the rules and tips and tricks that you need to follow while drawing the low power plan diagram. Thank you so much for watching.